Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default 2. I have not played for like three weeks or so. Um, I, I figured that December would get pretty busy as it always does for my job, but I did not foresee it getting that busy. Unfortunately, I was not doing any voyages during this time away, so we don't have anything really to collect. So we'll just dive right in. So I hope I still remember how to play, but... We're going to head over to the main objective now, because I think we did all the side quests that we could do. I got heavily sidetracked last time doing the uh, quests that I didn't realize that the King of Halcyonia would have for us. So back to the main story we go. So it looks like this red one is the side quest still, so... What? You say that my brother asked you to see how I was? Many dots. But why? He must surely despise me. After all, I turned my back on the family business and chose to serve the realm instead. In doing so, he sank into greater and greater debt until he had no choice but to turn to crime. But no, there is no excuse. The law is the law. Now, please, leave me be. Well, that's too bad. Now, let's see how this gets resolved. If I recall correctly, that's the uh, brother that's in the prison. Oh, and we can't cut through that. So, he told you to leave him alone? Understandable, I suppose. Why would he want to hear from one who brought word of his unforgivable thief of an older brother? It was so different when we were young. He relied upon me, followed me incessantly. I should have known better than to disturb him in his newfound place of responsibility. I suppose I simply wished to congratulate him. But it was a foolish idea. The best thing for him is to forget he ever had an older brother. Oh, that's sad. Could you tell him that for me? That it is best that he forgets me? Alright. I can do that. Alright, I'm sure that was instant for you guys, but it's a fair bit of walking for me. <laughs> you again? Really? Many dots. M my brother said that? Many more dots. It is something I want him to have. Something I've always treasured. Badge of bravery obtained. Uh, okay. <laughs> Back we go. It's gonna be nice to uh, finally leave this area. Not that I haven't enjoyed it, but like, the, the music... You know, like sometimes I'm washing dishes or something, and then I'm just like humming to myself, like da 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 da. -na. <laughs> so it it'd be uh, nice to hear the theme of another place. I I made him this badge. He was young and weak and crying incessantly about something, and he kept it all these years. <laughs> he never was one to give up on things easily or people, for that matter. I must not allow him to give up on me. No, I shall serve out my sentence and return it to him personally. What luck to have met you, friend. You have given me my life back. Please accept my undying thanks. And a peace ring. Sweet. Let's see what that does. Hopefully it's going to be helpful in the upcoming fight. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight um, Prince Caster. Alright. Uh, the reassuring ring that soothes the soul. Berserk and Confusion Immunity. Okay. That'll be nice. I'm probably going to equip that on our White Mage. Yeah, I'll do that for... Uh, for Gloria. Elvis is our main White Mage, but... Um, she's also a Bard, too. And she's going to be doing buffs and stuff like that, so... I'd rather have her not get confused or, or berserked. I should probably check if I'm good for this next fight in terms of like gear and class setup, you know, because I think it's just beyond that door. So I want to try the, um, what is that called? Oh yeah, equip recommend. Recommended. Well, he's a thief, so this is probably good. But for her, as a bard, let's see, peace ring and silver glasses. I just want to remember in case they change that out. Yep, they changed it out. So main gauche is still the thing. 
Anyway, silver glasses, let me put that back on. And then for him, as a white mage, what do we have? Thunder talisman, silver glasses. Yeah, they changed him to, to that. To a staff. Okay, and then she is a beast master. They have good proficiency with uh, axes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think we're okay here. Um, classes look good. Yeah, nobody's maxed out or anything, so I should be fine. What I mean is that, like, we don't have someone who's job level 12 and then won't get any job points after this. Alright, let's see what this desgraciado has to say. Caster! How, how dare you! Your Highness, I shall summon the guard at once. There will be no need for that. I think I can manage a few escaped criminals. <laughs> That's what but, you think. But your Highness... Are you deaf, Dromed? Or simply stupid? Uh, neither, your Highness. When will you learn to keep your mouth shut, hmm? Now make yourself useful. Return to your chambers and add the following to the annals. The noble prince smote the wicked interlopers, hell-bent on his senseless murder, with ease. You can do that much, I assume? We must ensure that the story of our realm remains an inspirational one, after all. You are delusional. What changed you so much, Prince Castor? You never used to be like this. And what would you know? You who lived a charmed life in a kingdom of plenty? I have done what I had to do. For my realm. For my people. Dude, you're not poor either. And what thanks did I get? None! And all the while the elders grew fat, and my father did nothing for fear of losing their favor. The desert encroached ever further, and all anyone could think of was themselves. Then she appeared, and gave me the gift of the asterisk. But never mind that now. Oh, mighty stone, lend me your strength. I care not what the cost might be. Prince Custer! May the asterisk's power lay low all who dare to stand in my way! Okay, he might be a little bit stronger. <laughs> That's okay, we're still super I over I would relinquish the crystal to no one! No one! You think all that water is bad for the city? It is nothing compared to what drought would do! Nothing! We need the crystal more than anyone! And now that I have made it mine, none shall take it from me! Come and get it! Wait for it! Ha! I don't have a tank, I just realized. Time to take a step back! Um... That was fast. You are about to Vent witness Fury. my true what does power. That do? Berserk. Okay. I have to protect myself. Prepare to meet Good your Lord. maker. That was a lot of damage. Hmm. What's the plan? Hmm. Let me at him. Yeah. Well, what's next, I wonder? Oh, <laughs> I'm not just a dull as a weapon, you know, like a wee pick me up. You are about to witness my true power! Yes, more! Here goes. <clears throat> I hope my voice holds. A song? Very well. Come and get it! We 
leave this to me. Ugh. Dig deep, guys. All right, then. More! More! Why must everyone insist on obstructing me? First my father, then Pollux, then Bernard, and now you! But I will not be hindered in my purpose. My kingdom shall be saved! They must not have a moment to breathe. We stand firm <sighs> for now. Fools! <sighs> what has happened to wow. you, Prince Custer? I hope there wasn't something else to steal. <laughs> I was gonna try doing that. I forgot I could steal, after not having had it for a long time. Oh well, let's see what new class we get. Berserker. Berserkers are unbridled balls of rage who specialize in swinging enormous axes to devastating effects. Perform a physical attack on all targets. Crescent Moon. Vent Fury, go Berserk for the next three turns. While Berserk, physical attack is increased by 50%, physical defense is reduced by 30%, and only the attack command can be used. Enough, Caster! Hand over the crystal! Never! Why must you insist on standing against me? I could change Savalon. I could save it! Look outside the city! What do you see? Nothing but sand. Sand and more sand. And the waterways? What little relief they provide soon dries up. You saw the ruins. The same fate awaits us too. But I refuse to let that happen. I refuse to roll over and die. <sighs> Perhaps fate agrees that my cause is a just one. What? Your Highness, we heard the commotion and came as quickly as we could. Thank goodness you are here. Help me. You must help me. They were trying to kill me. Princess Gloria? How did you escape the dungeons? Quickly. The prince is in danger. Uh, what do we do now? Think of something, Elvis. Well, oh, suddenly my ideas are worth listening to. <laughs> and what miraculous something do you expect me to think of exactly? Cranky. Would you look at that? Father, why do you refuse to listen? We cannot let this opportunity pass us by. The opportunity of invading an allied nation? Boy, have you gone mad? It ill becomes a Prince of Savalon to allow himself to be convinced of such nonsense by one such as this. Well, really. I have simply advised the Prince of the best course of action if he wishes to save our beloved realm. Do you not see, Father? Once the crystal is ours, Savalon will flourish! Dromed, lay down your pen. I would not have what is to follow besmirch the records. <clears throat> I have no idea what has got into you lately, Castor, but this behavior must cease. Perhaps a period of contemplation would do you good. Men, escort the prince to his chambers. <laughs> Let me go! Your room. Let me go! Let me go! Curse you! Curse the... your, your Highness, please, compose yourself! None shall stop me! None shall stand in my way! Your Majesty, you must escape quickly! Y yes Come back here! You will not escape me! 
Kasada! You fool! Well, this is quite the pickle we find ourselves in, Your Highness. Do not try my patience. Of course. Worry not, dear Prince. I am sure we can find a way to smooth things over. Pray that you can, for the sake of your head. Yes, yes. There is, however, the small matter of the position we discussed. Dromed! Yes, Your Highness. Let the record state that my father is missing, and destroy any evidence that might suggest otherwise. But, Your Highness! All is for Savalon's salvation. The crystal must be ours. And in order for that to happen, Bernard must become an elder. Make it so. Very well, Your Highness. Right away. Damn, no backbone, it, Dramid. It was his own fault. What? What was that? Y Your Highness. Was that? Did you? No, no, wait. Do, 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 do you not trust your prince? It, it was mere trickery. A cheap ploy to besmirch my name. Look! Enough, Your Highness. The game is up. What do you mean? To continue with this pretense would be simply to pile one crime upon another. I... I falsified the official records. I thought it best for you and for our nation. But I was wrong. The vision you saw was the truth. The king died by Prince Castor's hand. But wait! There's been a mistake, a, a, a misunderstanding. I'm innocent! You doubt me? You, my, my, my loyal subjects! We simply wish to know the full story, Your Highness. Please, come back inside. Uh, no, wait, 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 please! Ah! Castor! Well, don't just stand there! Quickly! The water crystal obtained. Princess Gloria, how can we ever begin to apologize? There is nothing to apologize for. The crystal has been recovered. That is all that matters. <sighs> Please, think no more of my brother. He murdered our father and stole a priceless treasure from a trusted ally. His actions were unforgivable. He said he got the asterisk from some kind of traveler, right? Indeed, uh, and it was from the same traveler that he learned of the crystal. Do you know anything about who they were? Only that it was a woman. Uh, none of us got close enough to discern any more than that. Hmm. What's going to happen to Dromid? He has asked that he be imprisoned. He has also tendered his resignation as record keeper to the court. But our nation has need of his wisdom. I hope that in time, all will be as it once was. Dromid was put in a tough spot, but he did the right thing in the end. Let's just see what's going on in here. I must lead my kingdom in the absence of my father and brother. I will be the first to admit that I am no born leader of men, but I cannot shirk this responsibility. Good for you, Pollux. Prince Castor always approached his royal duties with the utmost seriousness. I have no doubt that what transpired was caused by this desire to serve his kingdom. Though, of course, there can never be any justification for wishing to destroy another nation. This being so, I suppose he received his just desserts in the end. I cannot believe that such skullduggery took place within the palace. How could none of us have noticed? We will all work together to support Prince Pollux as best we can. Sevalon's recovery starts here. Good for you.
What did they find over here? It's like something crumbled and then they... They were like, oh? Well, they fixed this balcony already. That was fast. Just curious what this item was that we got. Purge pick. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's an axe. A pickaxe? Yeah, interesting. Resurrection power. Huh. It's not very strong. The water is receding. Praise be to the heavens. Looks like the effects of the crystal are starting to wear off. Yes. I have suppressed its power, for now. I hope this will suffice until we can return it to its rightful place. It's Anihal! Hey, Anihal! You doing okay? Yes. My friends are with me. I'm fine. Anihal? I did not have a chance to thank you properly last time. Thank you so much for healing my little friend. I... I was wondering if you wanted to come to my house and play with us one day. What? I... I'd love to. Thanks again, Anyhow. We'll see you soon. It's lonely without Bernard. But thanks to you, I know I'm not alone. Are you leaving? Yep. Afraid so. We have more crystals to find. Oh. About those. I think I saw one? In Wiswold. When I was there with the circus. Wiswold, you say? You know the place, Elvis? <laughs> yeah, pretty well. He was born there. Where in Wiswold did you see it, kiddo? On top of a tower in the middle of a city. I didn't see it up close. But the way it was glowing, it was the same. Alright. Looks like we know where we're headed next. Dear old Wiswold, eh? I love his hometown, huh? Seems like I'll be doing a lot of Scottish accents. Where to next? Progress at last! We've got the water crystal! Three more to go. And so to Wiswold. I hope we will be able to learn more of the crystals there. Me too. It's where you're from, right Elvis? Aye, never heard anything about any crystals back when I was living back there, though. Not even a whiff of a hint of a rumor. But who knows what may have happened since you set out on your journey. We will lose little by paying a visit, at least. All right, you then. I'll lead the way, and I'll show you around a few of my old haunts when we get there. There's no one there I don't know. If there's any juicy info to be had, we'll soon sniff it out. Sounds good. So, what kind of place is Wiswald, Elvis? It's where magical scholars and masters of the arcane arts gather, and it was set up by none other than my teacher and mentor, Lady Emma. Outside of the magic -y stuff, there's not a whole lot to see or do, maybe, but you'll like it, I'm sure. Wow, so the whole place is full of wizards? Sounds interesting. I too am not alone. Hmm? Oh, forgive me, I must have been thinking aloud. A crystal in Wizzold, eh? I dread to think what that might mean, but... There's not much we can do about it. We just have to go and see for ourselves. Wiswold is due northeast of Savalon, by the way. Lead the way, Letty. I know it's hot here, but I'll miss the weather in Savalon when we're gone. Still, I guess we can always come back. That's the joy of life on the road. So true. Well, on to a new place then. I don't think anybody else has much new... Oh, there is simply too much water, it will never fully recede, but never mind, I have had an idea. I will breed fish right here in the waters. I will then sell the fish and use my fortune to build myself another house. <laughs> Across the desert to the east lies Wiswald, a place known primarily for its researches into the magical arts, and also, truth be told, for the eccentric nature of many of its inhabitants. Uh, let's check. I don't think there's any quests out here anymore. Yeah, not any that we can see at least. From the outside. Alright, let's head out. What was interesting though is like... The way that Prince Caster... Thought that 
Savala needed the crystal so badly that he was like willing to lose himself to retain possession of it. But like when the uh, when when the water started receding, it seemed like the townspeople were happy. So it just it's a testament to how tone deaf he is, I guess, <laughs> to the needs of his own people. Like, he really convinced himself that that's what was going to be good for Savalon. Without really knowing. Yeah! Yeah! Did you see that? I'm amazing. Just wanted to capture these guys. Anyway, moving on. Sorry, I can't remember if I'd been there already. I don't know, so zero chests, so... It doesn't look familiar, but... Then again, my memory's horrible. I'm curious what Wizwald looks like, though. Who found Truff's ring? Truff? Is that you? Yes! Oh, thanks again for helping Truff out when he met you before! <gasps> You're more than welcome, old pal. Fancy seeing you again, eh? What are you doing out here anyway? Truff uh, needs to get through. <sniffs> but the tree is blocking Truff's way. Yeah, I can see that. We're headed that way too, to Wiswald. Truff tried to do something about it, but he's too hungry. He could do it on a full stomach, though. <laughs> it sounds like we need to get you something to eat. Yes, please. Oh, a schnitzel, please. Uh, what? Sorry? Truff wants a schnitzel. Wow, that's specific. Truff's human friend cooked one for him once. It's been his favorite ever since. Truff went to Savalon to try and buy one. But the humans there said monsters aren't allowed to buy schnitzels. <laughs> Truff is so hungry. So weak. And talking about schnitzels is making it worse. Juicy, tender meat wrapped in... Crispy, crispy breadcrumbs. <sniffs> A dinner to die for. Mm. You certainly make it sound appetizing. Aye, you've quite a ton of culinary freeze for a monster, eh? Stop it. You're making my stomach grumble. <laughs> Sounds like we better go find a schnitzel before everybody goes crazy with hunger. Could human friends make sure Truff's schnitzel is smeared with lovely jammy jam, too? Uh, sure. W why not? Human's Best Friend Part 2 Truff needs to get through, but some trees are blocking the way. Ugh. Truff is too hungry to move them, but if he eats schnitzel, Truff can do anything. Okay, all right, uh, ask a round about schnitzels. Okay. Truff wants the schnitzel. Truff's human friend cooked one for him once. He heard that they make them in Savalon. 
It's a dinner to die for. Oh, and make sure truff schnitzel is smeared with lovely jammy jam. All right, great. Let's go on to Savalon. Of course, I should have known it wasn't going to be that easy. Oh no, not a nasty surprise. Guess it's my turn. No, oh, it's just these guys. Ha! Ha! This yeah! Time, yeah! Ha! Hardly worth the bother. All right. Moving on. The uh, sparkle effects really make me think that there's like items and stuff. <laughs> the way that they make the the uh, the map kind of sparkle in the horizon. It's a pretty effect, but I keep thinking, like, oh, there's an item there or something. <laughs> Alright. Looks like there's another quest marker. Alright. Let's see, what do you know? Schnitzel. Oh, yes, it is a local speciality. Veal schnitzels are the most common, but other meats are also used. The innkeepers are reputed to be particularly delicious. I am sure he would be happy to prepare one for you. Well, that was good. First guy we talked to. <laughs> However, I'm sure the innkeeper is going to want something in return. If not just the ingredients. Ooh, schnitzel, you say? Yes, I have been known to serve this dish on occasion. I don't suppose you could make one for us now. With some jam, ideally? Certainly. One moment, please. No way. There. Really? One schnitzel with jam. Wow. Thank you very much. You don't know how happy this is going to make somebody. Okay, let's take Truffa's treat before it gets cold. Wow. Schnitzel obtained. <laughs> so funny. Uh, let's rest, though. Get some of that MP back. His schnitzel is definitely cold now. I see that there's another quest marker though, I wonder what that is about. I saw it on the map outside too. I wonder what that's for. Oh. Okay. So the yellow one is just for story and the red one's for the quest, but they're both... Basically, things we need to do in order to get to Wiswald. Yellow one's for basically going to Wiswald, and the red one is to turn in the schnitzel. And we need to turn in the schnitzel to get to Wiswald, so. Or to gain access to it at least. That's so funny. This bear running away from us. And he's just on the floor. He's really hungry. You still hanging in there, Truff? Uh, Truff is hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Not for much longer. We brought you a schnitzel. Hmm? <gasps> yes, Truff can smell it. Wonderful! Magical! <gasps> A whole schnitzel just for Truff! <sighs> can, can, can Truff eat it now? Right now? Go right ahead! Ah, you really were starving, eh? <laughs> All done! Oh, it was divine! The feeling a little stronger now? <laughs> oh, yes. Much stronger. Strong enough to deal with stupid, silly trees. We'd be most grateful if you could. Here goes! Man, I'd want to take a nap after that. What? A spear? Huh. Jeez, can you teach us how to do that? All 
done. All gone. Can go through now. That's great, Truff. We'd have been pretty stuck without your help. <laughs> Stop it. Human friend is making Truff blush. Well, you may not be much of a fighter, but you sure are strong, huh? Uh, secret is not <laughs> brute strength. Truff has a knack. Teach Learn me. Learn the knack, and human friends can do it too. You can now fell trees. Awesome. Press Y to chop the tree down so you can make your way onward. Okay. Like that, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Nice. Thanks, Truff. Happy days, eh? No tree's gonna stand in our way now. Truff needs to go now. Still searching for the owner of that ring? Yes. <laughs> Truff is looking for a cold place. Human friend who saved Truff talked often about <laughs> snow. So if Truff can find snow, maybe Truff can find friend. <laughs> Thank you for the schnitzel. It was oh, delicious. Goodbye for now, human friends. Bye. Party chat. Well, I definitely pressed it. What? <laughs> okay. Truff talk. So we ran into Truff again. Yeah, poor guy still hasn't found his friend, but at least he's doing okay. But at least he is now. We filled his belly for him. And he more than returned the favor. Without his help, we would not have been able to progress. Yeah, that tree cutting trick he taught us is pretty cool. It certainly is. He'll not be wanting for firewood anytime soon. Or any kind of wood, for that matter. We could probably build ourselves a wee house if we put our minds to it. Heh. <laughs> what say we chop now, plan later? Any wood's good wood. Have you two finished? We do have places to be, you know. Aye, aye, we're coming, just... Ah, no. What's the matter now? We've not had a schnitzel ourselves. Are we really going to head off without finding out what they taste like? The one we gave Truff did look pretty tasty. Be that as it may, we cannot afford to waste any more time. Ah, fine, spoil sport. <laughs> it's funny, I... <laughs> they didn't... They just wanted one. That's all they asked for. <laughs> I was thinking, like, uh, you should just get more than one. Oh no, another nasty surprise. Let's stay focused. These new? Yeah, lop-eared bad bits. Let's try that again. Yeah. Prepare to meet your Soul maker. Soul food. <laughs> Safety cross. Yeah. 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 I cannot be defeated. Hmm. To the music. It changed a little bit. Cool. Just want to hear a little bit. That's cool. Laggy. Hey, dropping trees. Can we get items from this, I wonder? Yeah, a dwarf's tooth. That's cool. Whoa. But I wonder if maybe that item was from grass and not from a tree, but... Uh, will I... Drop this whole forest. Angel's bow. Too bad Angel does watch these videos. I have a friend named Angel. But uh, he doesn't watch these. <laughs> so. <laughs> Are those new? Ah. Didn't attack quick enough. 
Guess it's my turn. Okay. All I'm right. going all in! Maybe I should Let's try, try something else. To, yeah, yeah. Prepare to. Yeah. All right. <laughs> New power we wait flow to flow within them. me. Music might be a little too loud now. Let me just bring it down. Nice, fifty-nine pig. I don't think there's any new monsters. I think it was just the bad bit. That flying thing, and then... Hey, you're not getting in my way now. And then the, uh, the snake-looking thing. The Sibilis or whatever. Huh? What did I just trigger? Not much further now. We're in spitting distance of the old homeland. You're not your usual talkative self, Elvis. Something wrong? Aye. The place looks... Different. It does, doesn't it? I'm sure there weren't this many trees last time we were here. Which would suggest the influence of the Earth Crystal. So, you've been to Wiswell before, huh, Adele? Yep. It's where I met our annoying friend over there and agreed to head off with him to who knows where. Aye, I was desperate to set off on my adventures, but I hadn't the first clue what to do out on the road. So, I hired this one as my personal bodyguard. She happened to be in town at the time. It seemed like it might be fun at first, but it's been nothing but headaches ever since. I can only imagine. Hey! <laughs> you wow. cheeky so and sos. <laughs> Duncan on Elvis, jeez. <laughs> Meanwhile, elsewhere. Lord Commander. Hmm? Ah, oh, Marla. Well, make your report. Wait, Prince is that Raven is from Teen Titans? His younger brother has taken the throne in his place. Bernard is also dead. And the record keeper, Dromed, is stepping down. The situation in Savalon is highly unstable. But there is a bigger problem. What is it? Spit it out. The water crystal. Princess Gloria has it. My apologies. It matters little. The water crystal is of no concern. Nevertheless, I take full responsibility. Forgive me, Lord Commander. And you, Edna? Things are going exactly as planned, Lord Commander. Your scheme is as perfectly conceived as ever. Spare me your crawling. That's a dull sister, as isn't you it? Are, and do not fail me. A little longer now, and my dream will be a reality. I leave matters in your hands until then. You do me a great honor, Lord Commander. Infernal woman. She will not monopolize my master's affections for long. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a dull sister. Chapter 2, in the Garden of Magic and Madness. The Scourge of Status Ailments. Monsters will often employ nasty status ailments such as sleep, blindness, and confusion. These can have all kinds of unpleasant effects, so it pays to know what they are and how to fix them. To learn more, take a look at the list of ailments under Main Menu, Travelogue, Memories, Tutorials. Thank you. This is what I was going for before the cutscene cut me off. Earth rod, nice. This is new. Come here. Come here. We must make the most of this opportunity. All in. Best pest. All right. <laughs> yeah. Right on, oh, man. All right then. Okay. Yeah. Get ready! You may feel yeah, a little scared! Yeah. Huh. Hardly worth the bother. Just trying to capture some new friends. Whoa. Those are new too. Lots of trees. Crazy. 
like so many. Mittens. What is that thing? <laughs> what the spider? Gross. Let me at him. I think two of these things are new. Paraponera, bread, and molder. Gross. Man, there's gotta be something that like increases your steal chance, right? Because <laughs> I feel like I never steal anything successfully. Oh, what's next? I wonder. Prepare to meet your maker. How very satisfying. Luck's <laughs> got nothing to do with it, pal. My true power. Your tail Looking ends good, guys. Here. Yep, got some new bestiary entries. Oh, another treasure chest. Nice. This area is big. Yeah. We'll have to explore it more. But for now, let's go into town. This recording is getting kind of long, so... So I'm gonna make sure we uh, at least make it into the town. So we can set off on our next voyage. Wow. Scholar's Haven, Wiswald. So this is what's become of the old place, eh? Interesting. Interesting? This is your hometown we're talking about here. Couldn't you be a little more concerned? I am. But panicking isn't going to make a blind bit of difference, is it? Well, no, but... Look! That must be the light Annie Hal told us about. Sure looks like the glow of a crystal to me. Let's go take a closer look. Wow, it's just right there in the open, huh? Is that the voyage area up there? Alright, just for the sake of time, I think I'll go and set off on a voyage. Although I want to talk to all these people, but let's just do this party chat and then set off on a voyage and then we can... We can call it a night. Ow! Oh, this is one called Wiswold Overrun. <laughs> you okay, Gloria? Oh, it's nothing. I think I must have a thorn in my shoe, that's all. Oh, I noticed some pretty spiky plants back there. Maybe something brushed off onto you. I really should be more careful. I can't very well expect anyone else to watch where I'm walking. Uh, have you taken a look around? There are plants everywhere. You can't not walk through them. Pretty sure there weren't this many last time I was here, though. What the heck happened? Sudden explosions of growth do not just happen naturally. The Earth Crystal's power is at work. Then we'd better do something. If we don't, the whole place will be overrun. Indeed, we must recover the crystal without delay. You think we'd maybe better take a look at your foot first? Oh, it's nothing, honestly. A hey, Gloria, wait. There's such a thing as being too selfless, you know. We're going to have to keep an eye on that one. Where is it? Oh, in here probably. Here we go. Hey, Granny. Hoo-hoo, seems they're destined to keep bumping into each other. Unless you're not following me, are you? <laughs> you wish. So let me go ahead and save. And then we set sail. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate your patience. I'll see you next time when we get to explore this really cool looking town. Looks like there's a lot to do, a lot of people to talk to, lots of Scottish accents I assume. But anyway, <laughs> that'll be for the next episode. Take care.